Elon Musk is buying Twitter? Elon Musk is buying Twitter? What is the world coming to? Donald Trump's back as president? No! Oh, have I just woke up from a dream? Seriously? Elon Musk has just brought in to Twitter and brought it all? Not so long ago, he was just going to be on the board of direct. Now he's the richest man in the world and he owns Twitter. Bang, bang. At a premium of $54.20 a share. Or in other words, he's just bought it for $44 billion. Wowza. Most of us would be dreaming of making that sort of money. But he's going to use a lot of shares, Tesla shares to buy. Wow. What does this mean for Tesla? What does this mean for Elon Musk? Well, all the rumors going around is that Twitter will go private, which is no good for you as the shareholder, as you will have to take whatever price you're given and see you later, alligator. Now, Elon Musk, a lot of people are saying he's buying this for freedom of speech and he'll allow Donald Trump back on the platform. Be interesting to see how that goes. Um, in terms of Tesla, what can what will Twitter do to Tesla? Well, obviously, you can promote a lot of Tesla stuff on Twitter more. I see you might see a lot more stuff come through that side of things. Will they go into more advertising on Twitter? Will you see Tesla just pop up all the time on your feeds? Be interesting to see how that goes. On the flip side, Dave, other stuff like Bitcoin and Dogecoin. Will Twitter take these ones to the stratosphere? Obviously, they'll be hoping so. I, I see it very unlikely, but for those ones that are really bullish on Twitter and getting Dogecoin back to where else, like Dogecoin Millionaire, they'll be hoping that Elon Musk will continue to talk about these ones and they get more popular. But for, for Twitter for Twitter fans out there, is this a good buy? Is Elon Musk the right? Well, if you're into freedom of speech, absolutely. For those ones that say freedom of speech, let anything go. Or are you going to let all this stuff about uh, murderers, you know, all this bad stuff, bombers, all that sort of stuff. You can allow that to be on the, allow, allow that to be on Twitter, saying all that rubbish stuff on there. That's the problem. How far do you take freedom of speech? That is the question for you guys out there. Um, moving on to other news at the moment. What the hell is happening here in the New York? We've got some private companies that have brought around 50% of Firecom and then. And now, Viacom's dropped down about 25%. They're now called Paramount Global. If you didn't hear the news earlier in the week, there's been a big lawsuit against Bill Huang. Sorry if I said that wrong. From Achigo, the founder of Achigo, who was swindling banks for billions of dollars, making himself look more and more richer by fraudulent means, using fake names, no matter what you were looking at, to make himself look richer in his company Achigo. And how he did this is by using all different people around his surface, buy into Viacom, putting up his stock, Viacom putting up his stock. So he, he lied to banks uh, at the billion dollar mark to inflate stock prices like Viacom to make his personal wealth go from, so Huang's personal profile was 1.5 billion to 35 billion in a year through swindling stock prices and how could a company how could like this one company Achigo own about 50 percent of Firecom or now called Paramount Global how was that even allowed to happen at the board level honestly clearly they're going to know that five percent of stock was brought on this time five percent this time how how skillful were these people at buying were they buying daily they were if they were buying like in all in frequent times, then I could understand. But if it was bought in big lumps, surely the company knew. Oh, who, who's who's this fella got buying this much money? Really? Seriously? But this is what's going to be going through the court case. And the banks will be trying to get some of their money back. But interesting to see how that court case goes to the chingo with Bill Sawak. Well, let's have a look at stocks that have plummeted over the last year or so. And you got, this is, we got Zoom. That's down 75%. You got Netflix is down about 72% on its all-time highs in the last year. Obviously, Facebook at 50%. Then you've got likes of Google and Apple have dropped down 10 to 20%. These stocks are just going downhill. Moderna down big time. A lot of stocks that were high flyers and now crashed and burned. So what do we do? What do we do with a stock like Facebook, for instance, down over 50%? In my humble opinion, it's a buy, buy, buy. Not financial advice. But Facebook is not going anywhere in my opinion. And with the re the virtual reality space where we're heading there with the Metaverse platform, it's going to be big. Now, one of their biggest competitors is Microsoft. And Microsoft stock has been an absolute high flyer the last year or two. It's absolutely skyrocketed. And they've been savvy. And 
Microsoft have brought a few companies that are really building their metaverse up, which they could knock Facebook off number one. I believe Facebook will be number one, but Microsoft are not far behind and the gaming companies they've been buying, they are really pushing themselves towards where you need to go. It's like Activision, obviously Activision Blizzard, Microsoft bought. What are Facebook doing in the same amount? They need to look at a few more companies and buy them out. They have the money. Now Mark Zuckerberg hardly ever get things wrong. Obviously you might not agree with what he does. Sometimes he's similar to Elon Musk and they say we're a freedom of speech sort of thing. He lets stuff happen, but we will see the future come up. What, but other stocks that have dropped big time are they worth buying? Like Netflix, for example, I don't think so. They've been struggling to make money and they, they will continue to because the, the cost of making them brilliant series is in the billions. I'm not kidding. A proper decent series costs them billions to run. Not all of them, but the very top high end ones. And you need that much money coming through to make it worthwhile. And to me, Netflix is on the decline. They have been the, the top one for a long time, but now they've lost all these movies they used to have on there because of all the other streaming services coming along. They have to be more creative, but the costs keep going up and up and up. And are they getting enough subscribers to pay for the cost? of these programs that is the question you have to ask what about what about this other stock out here what can you do with zoom well i tell you what if you brought it to 500 600 dollar mark you'll be absolutely crying now absolutely crying the way it just skyrocketed to the moon and next minute poof, dropped down like dogecoin absolutely just crashed off the world and you had the opportunity to sell and for a lot of us just got greedy just thought the world was going to continue even if you're on stocks like google they've dropped because youtube has just continued to go down downhill as tiktok is taking over the world at the moment can youtube bounce back they're trying to bounce back but it'd be interesting to see that space going forward so if you like this video remember to subscribe subscribe and high five and smash the like button because i love you and i'd like to see you next time with all our great riveting videos wow what do you do in this stock market here at the end of april there's a lot of people saying the stock market's dead let's go to real estate well real estate it is dropping in some places so it's not a bad investment um but to me if there's stocks down there like a facebook not just facebook there's heaps of stocks out there that are at discounted rates even apple you know or there's there's a lot of stocks out there the video that's a stock that's really crashed the semiconductor companies have really dropped down are they are they buys right now and there's a shortage out there and that those are the ones you maybe need to look at they're very much under price Price. Disney, I think it's probably got more to more reasonable levels. I think it was overpriced before. So and Disney doesn't seem to be a stock that's a high flyer. So it's a bit of a hard one. Do you go into dividend stocks? Well, even dividend stocks have been going downhill too as well. It's hard to know where to put your money in this sort of market. Um, but yeah, if, if you're looking at shares at the moment, Facebook is just one of the bargains for me. 50% off. Now, people will say that they're not as much because again, like Netflix, they've dropped decline. But these are they've got branch out to other stuff like the metaverse what is the netflix doing about branching out well if they want to branch out want to do something like universal studios or disneyland and have their own theme park this is something netflix could be looking at not just netflix there's so many other companies that could do the similar thing that's where maybe netflix needs to look at doing something like that oh well what about netflix cell phones you know i mean there's so many possibilities to try and take up on the big corporations like apple and amazon and all these what should you do where else can we go well let's you got twitter obviously twitter if you're a, if you're an investor in twitter what do you do that's a tough one because you don't know what Elon you know, musk can do if he keeps it public great i'd say your stock price would go up but if he sells it that's when you get into iffy territory or how much you're going to get for it get a certain amount of time and obviously majority rules once you get to a price and that's the price you'll be getting it's a bit of a tough one i don't know enough about it so you have to learn a bit more about what happens in the when the company goes from public to private so you have to check that out do some research on that so no financial advice for me on that one that's just my humble opinion um tesla to me still overpriced and I, like a lot of these hyped up companies it's all about the promise of the future but when it never when it never arrives it's when they tank but obviously you can make a lot of money on the upside well that's enough from barry charles today on the stock market for the 
end of April. I hope you've learned a bit about Elon Musk's Twitter buying sensation and how you might use it in the future. What will happen with all the, the stocks that have been crashing? Will they go back up the earth? Is Facebook a potential buyer? It's something for you to do more research on and so much more. And obviously the, the Bill Hoang situation. Well, interesting to see how that goes with our Chigo and how they screwed over Firecom. But anyway, I'm off to celebrate that the Facebook keeps dropping, keeps dropping, and I'll just keep buying and buying the dip. And hopefully the cost price will be somewhere under $200. And I'll tell you what, when it comes to that day, when I see it skyrocket back up to where it was, I'll be celebrating a 100% gain. And then after that, we're off to the moon because I believe Facebook is going to a thousand. So remember the space I told you now, Facebook one day will be a thousand. So you're just bargaining at the moment and you'll easily 5x your money. No financial advice, but Facebook with the metaverse and Microsoft, both of those are ones that are Good one is going forward, but Microsoft, you probably want a bit of more of a price drop. But if you got on early, celebrate with Microsoft because they are going to the moon.